Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your spirit message for the end of February. Just, if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, so be it. This is the message from Spirit for Sagittarius. Mm. The family, heredity, blood bonds, kindred spirits, ancestry, home life, community, <coughs> intimate relationships, our human family. Perhaps the end of this month is, is, uh, has something to do with your family life, has something to do with your mother, your father, your brothers, your sisters, your home, your children, okay? It definitely has something to do with your family, okay? Our human family. Perhaps something is being released, you know, because that right there, that is the Four of uh, Swords. No, that's the Four of Pentacles. I'm sorry. That's the Four of Pentacles. That is when somebody has been holding on to something so tightly. You know, maybe there's some kind of emotion or some kind of obsession that is being released. Here we have the Hermit card. This is a time out. It's a time to step back and focus. Focus on, maybe focus on your family. Focus on your home. It's a time to let go. It's a time to uh, stop resisting something. You have definitely, this is resisting and this is it, resisting. Somebody that is watching this has been resisting a change. They have been resisting renewal. They have been sacrificing too much. Because they refuse to see the new outlook. And I feel like it's really time for somebody to step back and refocus on their future. Refocus on what they're looking for. Refocus on themselves. Refocus on their family. Refocus on their roots. Okay? Because, you know, you are creating roots for the future. There definitely has. There's been a lot of conflicts. There's been a lot of defeat. There's been a lot of tension. And I feel as maybe it's family tension, okay? There's something that you need to let go of, okay? Maybe it's an animosity within you that you're holding on to. Something, some kind of struggle, mental struggle that you've been holding on to needs to be released, okay? And you have the power to do that. And I think that this has to do with your family. I do. I think this has to do with your children, your parents, your brothers and sisters, something. Some kind of blood bond is that you have with another person has been a struggle, okay? There's been some struggles between you and this other person. And you're being called to really take a time out and step back and focus on the future focus on the plan focus on what you want to come out of this what do you want the end result to be peace i'm crow there's a lot of mental conflict here a lot a lot so you your your thoughts are are holding you back you really need to let go this is like this is mental a mental trap it really is it's like you you're holding you seriously are holding on to some kind of grudge perhaps that doesn't serve you in any way. It doesn't do any good at all, okay? This is the Eight of Swords with the Five of Swords. Mental, mental, mental. This is mental energies that you are, you're sacrificing your happiness. You're sacrificing your, your um, growth. You know, you're sacrificing what could be by holding on to this obsession that you you can't let go of and this obsession is mental it's a mental thought that you know I'm going to stand my ground and I'm going to be firm and I'm going to be 
I'm not going to be nice in this situation because I have to prove a point. You know what I mean? That's what I see. It's like you're trying to prove something to someone else. And the only person that's hurting is you. Yeah, it's hurting the other people too. It is. I can see that it's hurting the other people too. But it's hurting you more than anything. It is hurting you more than anything. could be making you sick. You know, it's really stealing your positive energy. You're just wanting to fight. It's like I want. I'm gonna fight about this. I am, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna really stand my ground in this situation. And you know, in some cases, that's a really good thing to do. But in some cases, it's unhealthy. And in this case, I feel like it's unhealthy. I feel like it's making you sick. It's making you ill. It's making you depressed. It's. It's not. It's not serving you in a positive way. It's time to bring balance back. It's time to do the right thing. It's time to release this heaviness. This heaviness. It's time for you to do the right thing. Okay? And sometimes doing the right thing hurts. I feel as though that the time is now. Eights are the time is now. The time is now to look at things from a new perspective. To let go. To stop hanging on to animosity. To, to stop resisting this change. It's time. It's time for you to remove this this mental conflict that you've been holding on to. This is something, somebody is angry with another person and they're trying to hold their ground. And I understand, in, in many cases, that's, that's what you need to do. But in this case, I'm here to tell you that it's holding you back and it's time for you to bring balance back to your life. Things are out of balance and you're going to have to let go of this need to be right. Okay, this is what I see, and I'm, I'm sure that many of you aren't going to like this one, but I really don't care. So this message is coming from spirit that you need to let this go. You need to let this go. You never know when today could be the last. You never know when what's going to happen tomorrow. And that's what I see with this card as I just looked at it. You know, what if, what if this person that you are holding a grudge against died I see that there's a need to let go of some sort of animosity and refocus your energy in a positive direction. It's time to release this heaviness. It's time to release this tension that is causing you mental conflict. Because what if tomorrow never comes? And that is a strong message, and that's what I have. 